The signs of exuberance and delight were clearly evident in the faces of Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa, AIKA's Guyana Representative Wilmot Garnett, and other senior Agriculture Ministry officials as harvest of the second round trial of the new biofortified variety of paddy was underway this past Wednesday at the GRDB's research station at Burma, Maikoni. The smiles were there because just as it was at the first round trial harvest last year, the yields were in excess of 45 to 50 bags an acre, making it a potential high-yielding, high-value variety. High-value because of its biofortified nature and added nutritional bonus for those consuming it. Through a partnership involving the Guyana Rice Development Board and the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ICA, a new variety of rice, nutritionally enhanced with zinc, a critical element in the fight against COVID, has been developed and is in advanced stages of trial at the research station at Burma. Witnessing the harvest of the trial was Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa, who again spoke not only of the nutritional value of the biofortified variety, but about its importance as a specialty product, a viable, high-priced variety for the farmers. And other things, now that we have COVID, mm -hmm. we were told by the health specialists that, look, go and drink zinc mm -hmm. tablet. Now, if we can produce pro product with zinc in it, then we satisfy that need. So that would be that would not be an additional concern on the poor men or on or, or, or regular family. Mm -hmm. Then this has potential also to bring into the farmers much needed revenue mm -hmm. in terms of value added. Mm -hmm. And that we have been doing not only in in the in the traditional crops that we have been setting up, agro-processing facilities to make these product value. But this here is a typical uh, way that we are doing it. And I want to commend you, I want to commend Ika, I want to compliment the um, Director General in Ika Thank you very much. Thank for helping us to start this kind of um, pilot project. I am, I, I am very optimistic that within a year from now, um, after the next trial, we would have a candidate variety that can spread across the country. And farmers will be very interested in cultivating these kinds of crops because I have been getting good review on those varieties that you launched not too long ago that mm -hmm. we launched right here, mm -hmm. like at the GRDB 16, 16, the GRDB 15, mm -hmm. and this here now. This show that we are putting the funds in the right direction, mm -hmm. and our country will be self-sufficient, and um, not only self-sufficient, but our country will be able to export and satisfy that demand in the Caribbean and a wider field. Food security, food security. So this is a, hey, this is a way I, I want to um, say that I want to extend thanks to Ica, extend thanks to you as the uh, scientists and your team here. And I know that this is one of the projects that we have many more to come from, right? And we'll continue to develop the agriculture sector. This is a way that um, I think we can guarantee ourselves and guarantee the region food security. Mm -hmm. And at time when Guyana is playing a leading role because we have taken back that position in the Caribbean now, where our president is the chief spokesperson in agriculture and where we will be driving that food security agenda in the Caribbean with that task force that has been set up by the, ministry, um, by the CARICOM heads of government where Guyana will play that leading role in, heading, in, in leading that um, agenda in food security. So I think that this here is right in our agenda to advance food security in the Caribbean. Offering remarks at the trial harvest was Eco's representative in Guyana, Mr. Wilmot Garnett. He spoke to the value of the variety and also to the supportive nature of the partnerships that have made the trial possible. Even with this project here and, and the success of this project, but we continue for, for many years and we have academia, for example, the Penn State University, we have Harvest Plus, we have SEAT. So we have quite a, bit of, quite a yeah. number of partners because this is something long term we're looking for many, many years to come. No? So yeah. That is how we'll have the success and we can commercialize, develop as well as commercialize. And as you said, apart from the value adding, it's also the diversification within the rice industry itself. So we have many different that's, varieties. That's, that's the point. Right? And, we, and whether it's a drought, a whether, yes, whether it's salt tolerant, exactly. You know, so we diversify within the rice industry. Itself. Minister Mustafa noted that with the biofortified rice variety, as well as the recently released high-yielding varieties, farmers are being guaranteed more yields per acre, with no increase in the costs associated with growing the crop. GRDB's chief scientist and head of the research station at Burma, 
Dr. Mahendra Basod, in brief comments noted that the biofortified rice variety could be a game changer for the nutritional balance of Guyanese and those beyond our shores. They kind of big task like this, which zinc is a problem for part of the population yeah, on the earth. Yeah, and yeah, mostly mostly like women and children are suffering. And you know, we, we come a far away in um, developing these these lines that we, we sure are gonna one or two will translate into variety for the betterment of um, our own people in Guyana, Latin America, and even for the field. Because we trade 70-80% of what we produce. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's a win-win for, for The Agriculture Minister wondered at the system being put in place to ensure that at the end of the trial, there will be enough seed material for a successful rollout of the new variety. Racing on with the trials to get the, these data and on yield, lodging, cooking, milling, and all the other attributes. We separately, the team, we have a quite big team at the resource station. Everyone is holding on and something to study. And uh, we have the seed production um, arm also is kicking in in terms of, right now we are in the stage of purifying. So by the time we go into the next stage of trial, we'll be developing simultaneously with the trial, pre-basic seed and basic seed. So by the time, when we're ready to release, we'll have a good chunk of seed for, for farmers to cultivate. Um, so I, I don't foresee any issues in terms of okay. availability of seed. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. The team is working on that as we speak. Harvesting of the trial plot was done by staff at the station using grass knives. The harvested paddy was then threshed on this device. Minister Mustafa, Ika's Wilmot Garnet and other ministry officials took turns at the threshing table. Based on what was seen from the variety harvested, yield has been calculated at 45 to 50 bags per acre. The new biofortified variety will be tested over the next two crops, after which a decision will be made on whether the variety is ready for commercial release.